All right, welcome people. Welcome to the filthy bathroom. I'm the Squadgeman. Time for a shave. I just did five five minute rounds of shadow boxing. And my God, was it ever difficult. My back, I hurt my back about two, two and a half weeks ago. And for two weeks, I couldn't do anything except sit around, eat, gain weight. Uh, my weight is out of control. I've gained over 15 pounds in the uh, past two months. And a lot of it has to do with sitting around and eating and uh, not being able to exercise. Anyway, I struggled. I really struggled through these five rounds. I threw about 1,100 punches and uh, my God, murder. But I made it through. I had to rest a little longer between some of the rounds. I mean, I'm an old man, what do you expect? But uh, got to get back in shape. But uh, I managed, so I'm happy about that. And uh, yeah. Now, I, uh, I've already put the hot cloth on my face. I'm going to do it again. Sorry for the hissing. Uh, trying to get a little hot water going. So what you want to do with this cloth is you want to make it as hot as you can possibly bear it. This is not as hot, but just for demonstration purposes. Hold it over your beard for a minute or so. Reheat it if necessary. Get the follicles going, get the pores open. You've seen the old cowboy movies where the guy is sitting back and he's got the hot towel around his face. That's basically what's going on. I'm going to use this Quattro, Quattro, one more time, just rinsing it off. Hopefully it didn't rust too much. I lost my little spray bottle of alcohol. When I say I lost it, a uh, little elf, a little Christmas elf that lives in this house might have taken it and moved it around but that's it now i'm not using my brush i haven't used my brush and my bowl in a while but i could this stuff actually i didn't shake this can i should have shaken the can so i'll do that before i reapply now with this shaving cream Oh, towel is falling off my waist. That's okay. I, uh, I'm not naked. Don't get your hopes up out there, people. Now, this video I want to send out to all my uh, trans men followers. I've uh, had some trans men in the uh, comments before thanking me. They never learned how to shave uh, the face, a lot of them. And uh, they came to my video looking for some guidance. And that's why I'm here. If I can help you, um, then by all means. You want to shake the can, activate it a little. You want to leave the shaving cream on your face for a while. Let it do its magic with its uh, chemicals, uh, aloe and carcinogenic stuff, all that jazz. Um, anyway, welcome. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys, gals, whoever. And uh, yeah, a lot of boys grow up in, you know, single mother homes. Never had a guy show them how to shave. So uh, if I can be your surrogate father figure, then uh, so be it. And uh, welcome. I appreciate you all. And uh, yeah, good, good on you. So very gently. Very gently, I'm just pinching this with enough force to hold it. It's very wobbly. This finger just stabilizes. This other finger as well, if you like. And I'm just going to hold it tight to my face. And uh, look, you can put your finger here if necessary. And just keep contact, as much skin as you want. It sounds like I'm ripping up carpet or tigers licking a, a, a dead animal or something. It sounds very rippy. That is not uh, because I'm putting any force. The blade, this, well, quattro, four blades, this is doing the work. I'm just using gravity and very, very minimal force on the face. You really don't need it. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but a lot of the hair is not being cut. Don't worry about it. We're going to do another pass. We might do another couple of passes. 
and uh, this is how you want to shave. You don't want to, you don't want to slice yourself up. You don't need to get it all in one go. This isn't a race. This is, uh, you know, you should try to enjoy the shave a little. Have a little zen moment if necessary. And uh, yeah, let the blade do the work. Let the fingers do the walking. Uh, you know, all that jazz. And just go over the hair. Um, some of you people might be interested. Why don't you have a neck there, there, Squadron? Well, this may sound a bit ridiculous, but um, my hair follicles are very thin. It looks like I have a bald spot. I actually don't. It's just each individual follicle is very, very thin, and uh, my pores are big. So, uh, I can pluck my hair out quite easily. Actually, I don't have any armpit hair because uh, throwing thousands and thousands of punches, what would happen is the hair would wind, 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 get really tight, make little dread, not, dread locks under my armpit, and I'd have to yank them out because they were just pulling. And after a while, the hair just stopped growing back. Well, I did the same thing on my neck. I lived in Asia, and uh, I don't know if you've seen the movie The King and I, but uh, there's a scene where there's a servant with a pair of tweezers plucking out the king's beard here. I, I knew a woman years ago, and she used to pluck out her armpit here. And uh, after seeing The King and I, and uh, after interacting with this friend, uh, yeah, I just plucked out the hairs along my uh, where the neck beard thing is. And... They don't grow back. They grow back like once in a while. Like every time I need to shave, there's probably 20 or 30 there, and I can either repluck or just leave them there till I shave again. It's all good. Maybe it's nuts. I don't know. I never did have chest hair. A lot of people go, Squadman, did you shave your chest? You know, especially uh, a lot of my Asian viewers or whatever, they think that, you know, oh, Western man, very hairy. Yeah, well, not me. I don't know. I think there's some Native American blood in me. I don't know if uh, if that's part of the equation or uh, I'm just one of these non-hairy dudes. When I was a kid, you know, my father had a lot of hair on his arms and kind of a hairy chest and stuff. My two brothers, I believe, same thing. But uh, for me, never, never happened. And uh, you know, I always wondered, when am I going to grow some chest hair, you know, high school or middle school or whatever. And uh, anyway, I'm 52. It hasn't happened yet. So uh, I, I no longer wait for such things. But yeah, for those of you who might have wondered, does this dude shave his chest? Um, and why you would think that, I don't know. But people in the past have asked me and uh, no, I do not. You know, I used to go to the public bath a lot when I lived overseas in South Korea. And, uh, yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the Koreans were, were very surprised because they, they were under the impression that, uh, you know, Western men are all quite here, or at least white men, I don't know, but not me, really, no. Shave my chest. If I did, clearly I would be doing it on this channel because that's the way I roll. But uh, I mentioned my dreadlocks in my armpits. I never, uh, I had very, very little hair in my armpits anyway. And now it's just nothing. A couple of, couple of baby strands. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put some shaving cream on the back of my neck. So now I'm just going the opposite direction, using even less pressure on the blade because uh, I'm going against the grain. And uh, I'm just holding the skin taut like a drum. Sounds very asmr -y. Very ASMR-E, so, uh, yeah, 
Next pass, I'm just going to uh, make sure I get some coverage on the back of the old neck. Sounds rather crunchy. I noticed my uh, mustache here and some of my goatee area seems to be uh, thicker. You know, different types of hair on the body. The eyelashes are very different from the hair on your head and beard hairs and stuff. Some personal hairs that uh, will go unnamed are also quite different. Oh my lord, help me. Ah, the water, she is hot. It's getting late here now. I'm actually starting to get cold here with no shirt on. I'm just going to put this on the back of my neck for a little while. Get a little bit of. Well, that was a little while. All right, one more pass. This video is getting late. I'm just about done, but I'm going to extend the life of this haircut. I actually have a Christmas party I'm invited to tomorrow night. So, wait well she ate tonight. One of my uh, subscribers suggested I shave my head. Now, I, I did. I used to shave my head in the past. And, you know, when I was a younger man, it looked pretty cool. Now people wonder if I'm going through chemo. Um, I'm not taking that off the table. I do have to... Uh, Go in front of a judge on uh, Monday. Nothing criminal, of course. Um, so, I'm not going to shave my head this time around for a couple of reasons. One, I got to go to court on Monday, and two, I got this Christmas party tomorrow night. But uh, maybe next week. Let's see. Tune in. Tune, tune in. Find out. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh yeah, nice. This is gonna be the last pass, so this video is almost over. So stay tuned, subscribe if you like, like the video, leave a comment. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. Make sure I'm not alone in the universe. Maybe I am, I don't know. One of my buddies keeps referencing this uh, Kids in the hall skit where um, oh the dog is outside whining. Come in, old sport. Come in, come in. Hurry up. There's people waiting. Lonely, are you? Here, let's. Ah, here he is. Yeah, baby. Look at his jammies. Oh, look at that. Isn't he nice? He's all. Oh, say hello. Oh, bye. Get down. Get out of here. Go over there and lie down. Um, kids in the hall. There. Got this. Uh, guy he only got one record at the end of the world he's playing it over and over again i know my videos are a lot like that i forget the point i was making but uh you know i know i repeat myself a lot but you know if you ever want a friend if you ever want someone to shave along with or if you ever want someone you can watch shave now again i don't know what i'm doing i can't see this i'm just going mad i'm just Using the force, Obi Wan can over your Satoru when you can shave the back of his neck. You'd be like, ah, Master Kenobi, I, I don't know how to shave my neck, you know. I only know how to shoot wombats, and you know, you know, I'm driving around my land speeder. He said, Desert Rats, you know. And you know, of course, Obi Wan would get fed up with this, you know. Jesus, this is guy doing anything. Yeah, like, use the force, Luke. Well, I'm no Jedi in training, but, uh, you know, I certainly use the force when I shave the back of my neck. All right, we're almost done. We are almost done. Sorry to blather while I lather. Oh, yeah. Sorry to rave while I shave. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, 
this feel like a nice shade. I'm liking this quad draw, I gotta say. I uh, I left the supermarket there last week looking for replacement razor blades for my uh, Mach 3. Oh my God, 50 bucks or something, it's crazy. Like what kind of world do we live in? So uh, I'm glad my father gave me this quattro with a year's worth of blades or something. But I am gonna have to get my alcohol spray to uh, extend the life of these blades. All right, so I'm just pulling the skin. I'm wiping with my hand, using my safe cracking fingertips, super sensitive, to uh, feel if there's any stubble causing trouble. And uh, as I wipe, I slice, you know, and uh, yeah, nice. Ooh, dang that good, dang. Dang me, dang me. One of these days they're gonna hang me. All right, I think we're done here. 16 minutes, sorry. Sorry people, long, it's a long one. It's a long one, I hope you stuck around. If you made it to the end, you can write Banzai in the comments so I know if anybody stuck around. Anyway, I'll try to keep them shorter. I try to keep these around 10 minutes, but you know, I just can't keep them mouth shut. So let's see how it turned out. Oh yeah. Dang boy. Hey Rocco. Hey Rocco. How you doing? How you doing you old dog? How you doing you old boy? Who's that guy talking to? You? Ah boy. Dang. Dang boy. Back of the neck. How the heck I'm gonna wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more. That's what I'm asking. It ain't gonna rain no more no more. Yeah. Okay, let's towel off and um, let's see how. Uh, ooh, I almost got to see me underwear. Oh yeah. Whoo. Whoo. Mm. Ah, I got it. I got an ear, an ear full of uh, shaving cream. We'll take care of that later. Anyway, let's see. I give this a, I give this shave a nine out of 10 and lo and behold, I look nine years younger. Anyway, thank you people who loves you. This guy, don't forget and remember, you're somebody's favorite person in this world, probably me. So till next time, love you and adios.